what's up guys uh just going through some uh some of my peace dollars uh sometimes i'll just buy stuff and then i'll uh you know i'll sort through them later and uh just trying to figure out like what years i have and stuff like that so just quickly going through those but anyways and plus it's a little bit of eye candy so you remember those those uh special items those special pieces i got from the other video maybe two three videos ago uh my friend my new friend pete uh, he's a dealer here. He's a new dealer here in Las Vegas. Very fair guy. It's funny. I, I, I met him. I met up with him the first time to buy that those three pieces that I so, showed you. And you know, remember the historic pieces of Chicago and the other ones. Uh, it's funny. I seen him in a coin shop before, and when I saw him, I was like, "Hey, I, I recognize you." And he recognized me too. And then from there, I met up with him yesterday because he sent me some more pictures, of course. And the things that he sent me, I had to have. Um, before I show you that, let me let me show you this. I got this off him. This is a 2000, I think 15 American Eagle toned. Um, it's funny because I, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a silver ambassador, and I'll explain that in a minute. And I had some silver with me, and I had one of my peace dollars. I had a 1925S peace dollar with me, and he had this, and he was showing me this, and he was looking at that, and I said. I mean, hey, you want to make a trade? This is after we did our deal. He's like, yeah. So, so we made a trade straight up. So, leave it in the leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about that trade. The a 1925s peace dollar versus a toned up 2015 American Eagle. Let me know what you think about that. I got this, so I, I was happy with that. So, the three pieces he showed me, he showed me, um, you know, on the phone, very professionally done. He, he sells online and in person. And um, I'll leave his information uh, when I'm done telling you this. But the first piece is this one right here. It's a bicentennial uh, crazy piece, man. Oh, my gosh. And then the thickness of it, three nines fine. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I'll, I'll do a size comparison. How big it is, as you can see. Pretty nice size. I know, that's what she said. I know, guys, I know. Are you screaming that at me? Uh, yeah. Uh, New York. New York State American Revolution. Liberty. Bicentennial. 1776-1976. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, he gave me a real good price for that. And so I, I had to take it off his hands, ladies and gentlemen. So... That's the first piece. I got three pieces in total. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is going to be hard to figure out which one's my favorite because one's bigger than the other. Um, it's I got one slightly favorite, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you this one first. John F. Kennedy, one of my absolute favorite uh, presidents ever. I wasn't alive uh, when he was here, but doing my research on him, this is a true American right here. This is what the Democratic Party uh needs to be used to be and should be okay this is the this is the biggest piece uh you know i got the weights on the on the screen obviously uh absolutely gorgeous president of the united states of america inaugurated january 20th 1961 um i mean guys america history absolutely love it man Man. I just love it. So, for a size comparison, that's how big it is. Yeah, so my slight second favorite piece, maybe my first piece, favorite piece. But this one right here, the man, uh, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, this one's the size of the other one, the uh, bicentennial. And I'll put them all on the screen in a minute. Uh, Lincoln Memorial University at Cumberland Gap Harrogate Tennessee that's the guy who made it I'm assuming now this is cool don't get me wrong but let me tell you what really set it off now look at now look at them you know this stuff comes out but look at this oh my goodness goodness gracious the 11 memorial the back of the head and it's got it's you know poking out you know ironically we know what happened Unfortunately, to Abraham Lincoln, he got shot in the back of the head in that theater. Um, 
sustained by a grateful people 1897 to 1972 again another another beautiful piece um that i'm, I'm very happy with um thank you so much pete um here's pete's information right here here's his phone number he lives locally out here in las vegas and uh uh tell him jerry sent you he gave me a great deal and um Thank you so much, Pete. Like I said, this is the bigger, this is the bigger one. It's a little thicker, so yeah. There you have it. Now, let's talk about the title of the video: How to Be a Silver Stacker. Well, guys, when I when I go to anywhere I go, I always carry silver with me. Always. And what I do is I have a little starter pack. And I bring stuff with me. Now, his the friend that he had with him is a new stacker and she bought one of my uh, silver uh, bars off of me. I sold it to her for, you know, I thought was a fair price. Um, and so did she. And so also I threw in a um, Roosevelt dime with it. So let me tell you how to be a silver ambassador. And if you don't know what that means, here's what it means to me. Uh, you, are a, you are an agent of real money. You let people know what it is and educate people on it based on what they see here right this is a this is a talking piece so i play poker sometimes uh maybe a couple times a month and every time i go everybody knows me i'm the silver guy oh there he goes he's a true american they call me oh there, there he is because i always talk my stuff at the table man at the poker table and a lot of people think i'm a republican uh <laughs> when i'm when i'm talking these things and, I, and i'm not a republican and i'll probably make a video on that real real soon explaining why i'm not a republican and what I am as far as po political, uh, my political um, beliefs. And so when I put this stuff down, and I'll carry different stuff, you know, but I'll, I'll carry different things, rounds, uh, uh, you know, a, a one and a half round, a two ounce, you know, a regular one ounce, a couple of bars, some constitutional, had an American Eagle here, I didn't bring that with me. Some more constitutional quarters, uh, 50 cent pieces, Different 50 cent pieces. Where's the Kennedy? I think I had a Kennedy. There's my Kennedy and all that stuff, right? And what I do is I, I'm not like a, a Amex salesman or a network marketing salesman where I'm trying to shove it down the throat. I'm just uh, putting it out there, peacocking, if you will. You know, put it out in front of me and, and you know, and they look at it and say, well, oh my God. And I ask, and I have them ask me questions because when I play poker, I just keep my glasses on and stuff like that. And I don't, you know, I'm kind of quiet until somebody talks to me. And then that's when I start going in on, on what's going on out here. So what I do is I let them get curious and out of maybe eight other players that are at the table, maybe half of them will get curious and wonder what I have. And then once I tell them that whoever is the most interested in it, uh, not only will I spend the most time with them, but heck, I may even give them a piece of silver. And I've done that many, many times. Um, it's funny because a lot of people in the, in the community do, do, do that. Uh, Constitutional Stacker is, is a great guy. I told you about his uh, channel before. He did that in one of his videos. It, it was great, man, because he did something that I, I, I do too. What he did was, and I don't, I don't want to ruin the video. I'll, I'll leave a link to the video below here. Uh, let's just say uh, Santa came early for the guy. Uh, he gave that to and that was great he gave somebody silver because they were interested in it and they didn't have it and that's the point that was that was that was man that 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 warmed my heart melted my heart uh constitutional stacker you're you're a hell of a man for doing that man seriously and uh thank you for everything too by the way with our conversation and everything he gives me a lot of good advice and uh you know he keeps my he keeps my spirits up and so that's what we got to do i'm not saying give away all your stack or something like that but if you see somebody that's really interested in it uh, I make them make a couple of promises to me. I hit, I give them the silver and they say, they the same, same thing in his video. What? Oh my God. They get all surprised. I said, but you got to do a couple things for me. He said, what's that? I said, first of all, research what you have. That's number one, research what you have. Do your studying on silver and gold and precious metals and find out what money is. And we want to exchange numbers. I can send you a link to some videos. I want you to tell more people about it. And most importantly, I want you to get you, get yourself some fair deal. And he look, I look him in the eye and I have my hand out. And they go, fair deal. <laughs> and then later on when I see them, I've actually had four or five people have more silver on them and couldn't wait to see me. Like, oh, my God, Jerry. Hey, man, this is what I got. I've been waiting two weeks to see you or three weeks or two months or whatever. And they carry that silver around with them based on that one little seed that I planted. 
And that's what you need to do. You need to plant those seeds, guys. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to give it away, but put it in their hand. Let them hold it. And when they touch it and hold it, they'll see like, wow. And that's what happened to me. My best friend told me to go pick him up some gold and silver one day, and he kept sending me videos. I said, no, nah, I can't do it. He was living out of town. He goes, hey, man, do you know where Henrietta is? It's a town in, in Rochester. Said, yeah. Can you pick something up for me? Sure. I went out there, and the first thing I did was I picked up a 100-ounce bar and a gold ounce. I think it was an American Eagle, and I fell in love. And that's what you guys need to do. You guys need to let these people know that you've been brainwashed, and that cash is not trash, uh, but it ain't, it ain't the real money, guys. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you a silver, silver ambassador? Have you, have you had anybody give you some free silver? Have you given somebody some free silver? Let me know what you think about my ideas and give me some ideas if you have some better than me or different than me, okay? Uh, please, guys, in the comment section below. Do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button only if you like it. If you like my channel and my videos, go ahead and share it. Guys, am I sharing stuff with you? I think so. So since I'm sharing all this stuff with you, I'm giving silver away, telling you about Constitutional Stackers videos, who's a great, great channel. Uh, at least you can do is share my videos because you already know. Sharing is caring. You guys also know I love you very much. Guys, you guys are my boys. You know that. Guys, keep on stacking, all right? Tell people about it. Be a silver ambassador. Let people know what the real money is, how to be a real American and uh, fight for your freedom, fight for this country, God, your family, and keep your head on a swivel. And love your neighbors, all right? I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.